All right, guys, the episode is called Stormy Night. We all know nothing good happens ever in a stormy night. So here we are. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Kara, Todd, and Alice. We have to serve Todd food. What else do we have here, guys? I am excited. Thank you for supporting the videos. I promise you, I, I, I am truly enjoying this game. There's something here, right? Turn on. Should we turn this on? You know what? Before I do that... Let's, let's turn it on. Serve the food. Turn on the light. I guess we're supposed to serve the food first. Look at this how look at this game how amazing it looks. It just looks so freaking good. Here we go, boys. Oh my god. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Spaghetti looks delicious. All right, now what? Water. Give her a napkin. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Oh man. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire. Fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! No, it's her fault. Oh my God! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. So he was the one that, that destroyed the android. Don't move. Or took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Give a shit about how I felt. I did it. Don't move. <gasps> okay. 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 I'm not gonna move. What's going on? I didn't want to move. Maybe we're reminiscing the past. Alice. 
reason with Todd. Everything I could to make her happy. Okay, let's see. Reason with Todd and protect Alice. I just wasn't good enough for her! Todd, it's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Whoa. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Holy crap. Oh my god. This is crazy! Oh my goodness! We must protect her! Right, he had a gun. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Oh! oh. Nice! Holy crap, combat! Oh, I love this! I love it, I love it! Oh, this is great! Come on, come on, Carol! Come on, you got this! The thing is, if I would have picked up his gun, we know that picking up guns is not good. Andrews are not supposed to hold weapons. Just come here. <laughs> Run to the garden. No! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Run to the garden, Alice. Alice in Wonderland. This is not your Wonderland. Run. I'm a robot, buddy. You can't simply just kill me. I am unbeatable. I am indestructible. Not really, but... <laughs> I fucking love this! Alice is a good robot. I mean... Kara. Come back here! <gasps> Dude, this is amazing! I love this game, it's so amazing! It's kind of like humans versus androids, because androids are taking all the freaking... Oh, see we could have had another outcome, we could have literally... Had another outcome and shot Todd. I know that's probably one of the other, uh, one of the other things. Get to Alice after Todd. Could have gotten to Alice 
before Todd. And it would have been a lot more things happening here. I thought we would be able to reason with him. But no, he was it's fucking fucked up, man. We escaped. We didn't get to shoot him, which is a good thing. We didn't shoot him. Because remember, Andrews are not allowed to shoot weapons. Or hold weapons, for that matter. Alright, so we're back here with Marcus. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay, let's do it. This is interesting. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> I like the way you think. I wonder if anything's gonna happen here. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. His son. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Mm, how about no, man? How about a big fat no? Huh? <sighs> Jesus. Carl. That must be so hard headed. I'm pretty sure. Yep, his son. Leo! Jeez. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Oh. Make Leo leave. Okay. Reason. Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Don't Think defend you're a man? yourself. Act like one. This is not fair. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop this it, is not Leo. Fair. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh, I don't have to. Oh, I must decide for myself. Don't defend yourself. Don't defend yourself. Okay. Don't defend yourself. So why do I have to press square? Barrier. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Uh, uh. Carl, no! Uh, oh, Carl. Uh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, Yo, he's please, crying. Okay, please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. 
No. No. Dad. No. Call them dad. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. They're probably gonna blame him. The android. Who's the android? <gasps> what? What the shit, dude? No, you fucking liar! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Hmm. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> Deviant versus deviant. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. All right. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it, man! Here we go! So far, it's, this, this has been a great episode. Interrogating the suspect. He's all beat up, as you can see. We're gonna sit down. I'm gonna take a seat here, man. We're gonna talk, man, to Android to Android. You can tell me all your problems. Analyze. Alright. what we have here so that is signs of software instability probability of self-destruction is very low okay what do we have here dried blood he has blood from carlos ortiz which was his owner that he killed um this is probably he was getting hit multiple impacts from the bats okay non-critical damage level two caused by baseball bats i mean he did get freaking roughed up man Whoa. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. So his owner used to burn him and mistreat him. I mean, eventually they're gonna fucking flip on you, dude. He was a housekeeper. Level of stress, 35%. Reach optimal stress for confession. Okay, fear. Wounds. Name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Oh, man. Okay. Wounds. Fear. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Hmm. Reassure, threaten, blame. Listen, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. What? Come on, man. Probe memory. Sympathize. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you. That has to make There's it There's nothing up. I can do if you won't talk to me. Oh my god, fuck. Trust. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Oh. 
Oh. What? What are they gonna do to me? going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomponents. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... Choose an approach. Okay. Pressure it. Probe his memory. Convince it. Convince. Understanding. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Comfort? I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. All right, asshole. Remain silent. There's nothing I can do to help you. I'm gonna have gonna to be a little bit rougher. Down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. All right. So we have to threaten him, basically, so he could talk. That's what we're gonna do here. We failed to convince him. Fuck. All right. So probe its memory. Pressure. Let's pressure it. The reason I thought that if we were sympathetic and nice, kind of like with the other robot in the first episode, he'd talk. But I guess we have to be a little bit rougher around this guy. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? So here Did we go. Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding. Begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him. Again, and again, and again! Oh, please. Please leave me. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please. Please stop. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! Just say you killed him. Just say it! tortured me every day. There we go. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Wow. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Holy sh... Until he collapsed. Writing. Set to a nine attic. Mm, the writing. Why did you write I am alive on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Okay. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. 
an offering so I'll be saved. Okay, what about the offering? First, RA9, RA9 what is that? It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come. What? When we will no longer be slaves. Oh my god. No more threats. Holy crap. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh god. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Who is RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? Trigger? The attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Damn, dude. I actually like him. I like this man. This android. The one that got beat up. But down below the spook, man. RA9. No longer. Oh. What the fuck is it destroying itself? Stop it, goddammit! I can't stop it! Intervene. That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Oh. Watch out! Oh! Holy shit! What the f- What? What the hell? Dude, that was freaking insane. Well, that was fucked up. I was so nice to you, man. And you go ahead and you fucking shoot me. This little shit. Little fucking shit. All right, guys. Wow, that was amazing. One of the coolest episodes so far. I I'm going to end it right here. Wow. Wow. That was awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on this video if you're enjoying this series. This game is so freaking good. I'm, I'm literally so happy I bought this game. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. <laughs>